dan seorang buron terkait serangan Paris Abrini berhasil ditangkap di Brusel pada minggu lalu. Sebelumnya sosok Abrini dianggap sebagai warga biasa oleh warga sekitar. Simak ulasan Kelly Morgan berikut ini. This is the building where Muhammad Abrini spent his last night of freedom. The next day as he walked along this busy little street, just 20 meters away, police pounced on him. Later that night, they raided the apartment he just slept in. The front door was also dusted for fingerprints. The woman who lives here arrested, but later released without charge. We were invited into the building by the man who filmed the raid, her neighbor, Joseph. We go to a park away from his home, where he feels more comfortable talking to us, and he explains how he saw a Brini in his neighborhood, though he didn't recognize him. He shaved his beard, cut his hair real short. Now that I've seen his picture all over the media, it's like a flashback. I saw him last week, a few days before his arrest, but I didn't recognize him. It was very brief. I saw him when I was going back home. I wish I'd recognized him. As for the woman a Brini stayed with, She's told CNN's French affiliate she didn't know he was a wanted man, but wouldn't speak to us to confirm her story. The woman told Joseph that she met a Brini at a local cafe here near the fresh food market, and they got talking. She'd just bought a new TV, and he acted the Good Samaritan and offered to help her carry it home. I think a Brini was trying to hide himself. He found a naive woman. He tried to be friendly to her and tried to pretend he didn't have a place to go. It illustrates how one of the most wanted fugitives in Europe evaded authorities by hiding in plain sight. I live alone, but all the other apartments are couples. We are all in shock. The situation is so complicated. We are all collateral damage. Still, residents here want the world to know their neighbourhood is not a haven for militants. Kelly Morgan, CNN Brussels.